Hey everybody. So today we're gonna to go through a feedback protocol called praise, question, suggestion. And there are many different feedback protocols that we can use. And um, I've been learning a lot about these over the past couple months. And uh, I'm really excited for us to try this one out together. So this is a skill. And as with all skills, they are things that we practice and get better at. So this is our first run at it. We're going to do our very, very best. And uh, the aim of this protocol, the aim of any feedback protocol, is really to give high quality feedback to the people around us, to help them to think about uh, their projects, the things that they're trying to accomplish with their projects, and to have more success with their projects. So the worst type of feedback is the feedback that is not given. <laughs> the second worst type of feedback is feedback that's given in a rushed way or a mean or critical way. The best type of feedback is honest, but it's also truthful. Um, and it's, it's kind. It's both truthful and kind. You don't have to pull back on the honesty. If something's not good or if you think something's really not going to work out, then for sure you're going to say that. But um, we're going to work on you know, being, being both honest and kind. So there are many different uh, feedback protocols. This one's praise, question, suggestion. I'm going to run through the overview of it, and then I'm going to give you guys some specific steps to follow. So pay close attention. So first off, praise. You're going to specify which part of the work or the idea that you are impressed with. Even better, if you can identify a success or assessment criteria within this piece of work. Second off is going to be a question. You're going to ask the author of this work, this idea, this project, a specific question, maybe something from the idea or something from their description or from the work that they've done that's unclear. Uh, what do you still need to know? Which parts are vague? What do you want to know more about? And then the third one is a suggestion. You should provide the author with a very specific suggestion for improvement. Um, this should be very focused. Uh, it could be, um, I wonder uh, why you would do this and how. Or uh, you could just give them you know, a suggestion that you think would really help. Now, keep in mind, number one is obviously something that you're impressed with. Number two is not really something that you're bringing in your personal viewpoint. It's just a question. You're not giving them advice at this point. Number three is where you can potentially give them advice or just give them a general suggestion. Okay, so that's praise, question, suggestion. So here's what we're going to do today. Uh, first off, um, you guys are going to get together in a group of four. You're going to be in two uh, pods side by side with space in between for social distance. So there's going to be four of you together. Um, Person one is going to articulate their project idea, the medium that they have chosen, and their aim, what they want to accomplish, and any other details relevant to communicating their vision for their piece. Um, person two, three, and four are each going to give praise, question, and suggestion, while person two person three and person four are taking turns doing praise question suggestion, it's not a time for person one to, to talk back or, to, um, or to, to comment or to answer or argue. It's just a time for person one to listen. And all four of you are going to make sure that you record in writing uh, the specific praises, questions, and suggestions, especially the questions and suggestions. So the four of you have to share the responsibility to make sure that that feedback is recorded for person one. Then you're going to rotate to person two. They're going to share their information, their idea, their aim, their medium, why they chose things like that. And then person one, person three, and person four are going to respond to them, praise, question, suggestion. You're going to go through all four of you. Each of you is going to get a praise, a question, a suggestion. And then you're going to make sure that all of your feedback is recorded and it's handy for each of the students to take away. And then at the very end, you can have an open talk session 
where person one, person two, person three, and person four can respond to some of the questions or some of the suggestions. The reason you're not going to respond right in the heat of the moment is because sometimes ideas need time to percolate inside your head for them to make sense. And sometimes you can have like an immediate reaction to something where you think something is really a good idea or a bad idea, but upon further reflection, it gets clarified whether it is or not. So that's why you want to wait before responding to, um, to the suggestions that they give you. Obviously, you could potentially respond to some questions, but I would encourage you not to respond to suggestions right away. Let those just sit perkly in your head and you'll have time to, to do that at the end. Then you guys are going to disband and uh, you're going to continue on with the class. All right, let me know how it goes. Looking forward to hearing uh, your reports.